have questions while we're doing the gallery, let me know. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of ping pong uh, through the audience and pick people randomly and, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get to you. A any questions before we get started? Because I know people like to get reading, so I, I, I want to I try to get into that as soon as we can. So we have a few minutes. Uh, but I want to go to the lady in turquoise right there. What is your name? Michelle. Michelle. Uh, do you have a man in spirit that you've been trying to reach, uh, dad or or a, a close close uh, relative in spirit? I'm not sure. Is, is your father in spirit? No. Is, okay, then this must be a grandfather because uh, there's, there's a, a man in spirit around you. I was just thinking of one. Oh, you were thinking uh, okay, <laughs> of a man in spirit. Okay, a grandfather. Okay. Uh, do you know if he uh, was, was, did he ever work outside or did he uh, have a farm or, or some place like that? He did, okay. Because it looks like he was a really hard worker and it looks like he, you know, had to tend his fields and, and he had to fix things. He was always having to fix things. Of course, that's normal for a farmer, but, uh, but in his particular case, uh, he worked up, you know, farmers, they are such hard-working individuals from the time the sun comes up to the time it goes down. Um, but what he's saying is, uh, uh, have you had any health issues around you or anything? Yeah. Okay. Because he says that you're getting through those. Okay. And uh, he says for you to, to uh, uh, keep the faith and to, and to keep your uh, positive attitude because he says that, that you're, um, you're, you're doing well getting through them. Okay. Now, also, are you close to mother or is mother in spirit? I'm close to mother. You're close to your mother, okay, because it seems like 
it seems like she gives you a little bit of a boost uh, when you're talking to her because uh, you always you, you you still think very favorably of mom and and uh, and maybe uh, still uh, communicate with her a great deal. Um, so I, I I feel like you're almost a focal point though for other people. Do other people come to you or do they? Uh, it just seems like uh, uh, a, a lot of people are always asking your advice or asking you questions. Are you a manager or, or, or you just or just a, an active mom? <laughs> no, and I'll just reveal this so that you all can believe in the worthy of him and forgive me if I cry because it's a little like, wow. Oh, but um, I'm actually a school librarian, but okay. I try to be a very positive person. And so everybody comes to Everybody me. comes to you, <laughs> okay. They keep me down and they, you know, it's hard to be like positive for everybody. Yeah. It's just, I feel like I suck up all their negative energy <laughs> and then I just lay in bed, you know, worn out for me. Okay. And I had this conversation with my mother just yesterday and she picked me up. I'm the grandfather I'm thinking of is her father. Right? Her father, okay. So. Well, it's, it's going in those in the, that that uh, that realm there. Um, I think that uh, it may be that you're planning a, to. A, are you planning a sabbatical? Or are you planning a long well, rest? I was thinking of being oh. ill tomorrow. <laughs> 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 you're thinking of being ill tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's over a million. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Okay. Well, but it's 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 certainly been there. And uh, is this relationship oriented? Yes. Okay. Okay. Because uh, it just seems to me that uh, that you're just trying to work things out in a in a relationship. Okay. Um, and uh, you know, different energies have different uh, frequencies, and so so that's the frequency of that of that particular issue. Now, also, are you big into exercise? Or are you big into to trying to run or just movement or yoga or something? Yes, I teach yoga part-time. Oh, you teach? Okay. Uh, because that's also that's energy that's very much around you. And, and uh, it's something that I think uh, you look forward to because it does help you relieve stress and it does help you um, release, release any tensions that, that may be there. Um, also, I think it, what I keep hearing is that you have a, a very, very pleasant voice that people like to hear. Have you uh, been told that before? Mm -hmm. Or uh, not necessarily singing, but just a, a, a kind of hypnotic voice. Yes, and okay. I was in musical theater. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so that's, that's another thing that's validating. So do you have a question or anything? Uh, no? Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I want to put I you do, I do. Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah, so the gentleman that I'm trying to work this out with, is that the way it's going or not? Uh, well, I think he needs a little space right now. So uh, so this relationship is not over with. Uh, it's just a battle right now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, but sometimes that's what relationships are about. So they, they, there, there has to be some, some corrections, okay? Um, I uh, I can't tell you. Is, are you married to this man? Or you know, okay, I can't tell you that this is a permanent relationship, but I can tell you that it's it's uh, not over, and it could be permanent. But you know, right now because things are a little bit upsetting, uh, it's uh, it's it's not the, the best time. So so, but I, I do think that this particular situation is going to be resolved. Excuse me, <laughs> we have. Uh, it's not spirit, that's a, <laughs> it's an actual fly that's you know, interested in me. <laughs> so, so uh, all right, okay. Let me go to this young lady right here. What is your name? Mary. Mary. <laughs> that's not 
not fair. <laughs> Do you have children? Are there children around you? I used to teach. You used to teach, okay, because that energy is, is still very much around you. So why did you leave teaching? It just uh, it was, um, too stressful? Stressful and just the energy. I was just sensitive to all of the stuff all that the happened. Because I see all my kids. I was a music teacher. Oh, you were a music teacher. <laughs> okay. I was a music teacher, so I saw all the kids. You saw all of them, yeah. Well, it was it was draining then energetically because um, uh, you have to learn to control your uh, pull in your energy uh, so that so that you're not so bombarded because it's very draining. Okay, uh, but it looks like you can play several different instruments. Does that make sense? Okay, like the violin and maybe even some wind instruments and stuff like like that. I think that you miss it in in some areas. Okay. So I think that if you're not in the music right now, you'll find a way to get back into it at some level, maybe even individual uh, teaching. Or are you doing some tutoring? No, I thought about it. You thought about it? I think that that would be good for you. I think that uh, uh, also, uh, this is interesting. Uh, have you ever wanted to tune instruments? No. Okay, because uh, do you have perfect pitch? or do you have, uh, Because it just seems like you, you could... You could tune instruments if you wanted to. So, uh, what do you do now? You see, are you working in corporate America? I work in the hospital right now, but it's not full time. Not full time, okay. But uh, but once again, you have to deal with energy, and uh, the energy at the hospital sometimes can be very very disturbing. So you have to learn not to absorb that. Okay. So um, I'm just going to see if what I can. You have angels all around you too, so because these angels are, are helping you, helping you heal, also be a healer, because it seems like you're just in a period of healing, okay? Did you just come out of a relationship or something? Uh, not too long ago. Okay. Um, I got a divorce. Okay, you're just in this healing process right now, and so it's, this is the time to, to really nurture yourself, okay? And uh, so I, I'll, I'll leave that with you, because um, uh, I just, when I see green, there's a lot of green energy around you in your aura. So, um, yeah, but uh, things will be getting better soon. Okay. So, thank you. Any questions? No? Okay. So, let me go to this young lady. You're the <laughs> So, the lady filming me. <laughs> what is your name? Um, Valeria. Valeria, okay. Are you good with animals? Um, yes, well, I'm vegan. So. You're vegan? Yeah. So you don't eat animals. <laughs> they like you there. <laughs> uh, but uh, but it just seems like you're an animal healer. Okay. Have you ever wanted to do that or um, learn to do Reiki or anything of that nature? Well, when I was really young, I wanted to be a vet. That was the first yeah. thing I ever wanted to be. <laughs> because I was going to say vet, but uh, but animal. That's what an animal healer. They they may not be trained in, in a veterinarian, but you could do that if you wanted to. It's just. Uh, was it a lack of confidence? Is that why? You... I didn't really like the science like route. I'm more okay. like business now. So. Okay. Well, but you can still work work for a vet or do some other things uh, around animals that would be very helpful because it feels like it's a passion for you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so you could, you know, you could of course do other types of works, but I, but I think that uh, being around animals is uh, is something very good for you. Also, big animals. Okay. So I think that uh, even going to the to the stock show at the state fair would be something that would be very rewarding for you because those are such championship animals, beautiful animals. So uh, it just seems that uh, that energy is there. Now, are you in a relationship? Um, kind of. Kind of okay <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> it it's, it just seems like you know you're you haven't yet uh, both of you haven't yet decided that <laughs> yes we want to get into a relationship <laughs> so. Um, I uh, I think it'd be fine. Okay, I think that uh, especially going into the holiday season, it's nice to have that companionship. So so uh, so I wouldn't be afraid of that getting into that relationship. At least the energy is, is real good. Now, do you have a grandmother in spirit? Yes. Okay, because um, you have a, this grandmother is coming in. And do you look a little bit like her, or does she have also dark hair like you? Um, 
think she had a lighter hair, but I don't know if she's ever had dark hair, so I'm not sure. I didn't know her that well. Because she loves your hair. Oh, okay. really? <laughs> uh, because uh, it just seems like that's just one of the outstanding things uh, about you. And, uh, and because uh, any hairdressers or in your family or does anyone uh, just go, I know a lot, of, a lot of times women like to just work with their hair, but it just, just seems like that's just something that, that you have sisters or anything that. Uh, no, I don't have sisters, but I have like cousins. Cousins. Kind of, we're like sisters. Do y'all have like hair parties or? <laughs> Not hair parties, but we're all into like hair and makeup. Hair and makeup, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's, and that's that's all pretty normal, you know, for girls to get together and do that. It's just a, play, a, a thing to be joyful. So, so I'm just kind of seeing that that energy around you. So uh, I, uh, I mean, there's just you just have everyone. Everyone has lots of energy. I'm just trying to pick just different things. But, but uh, I would uh, call upon your grandmother if I were you to be a, a guy, because uh, it just seems that uh, she would be good for you. Now, do you speak another language? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, is it Spanish or what? Okay. Because. Uh, She's talking about you using your Spanish. Do you use it very much? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do? Okay. Because uh, she's really happy that you uh, use your Spanish. Okay. Thank you. And you write in it too? Okay. Wow. That's great. So uh, it's just a good skill to have. So so thank you. Thank you. Well, I have one more question okay. just about my grandmother. Like, I just never really got to know her. Like, is there anything else? Like, about like my family. Was she was she in another country or? Um, so she grew up in Mexico, but then Mexico. she ended up living with us until she passed away. Okay. So yeah, but I don't know like anything like about like my parents or any family like messages to them, especially like my dad. Was this your dad's mother? Mm -hmm. Okay. His dad's? Did you are you close to your dad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, with uh, with your grandmother, she uh, she says that. Uh, she migrated to this country, she came to this country, it, because, I mean, there was just a lot of poverty around her. Um, um, she's talking about, uh, did they, was it, was she in a rural area, like, or do you know? Because it just seemed like they had chickens and they had, they had, uh, you know, they would, they would just kind of live off the land a little bit. And uh, her father may have wanted to have work, or she wanted to be able to get some work, so. Uh, and uh, and so uh, it just seemed like you know the early childhood was was difficult for her, uh, but um, she was very a multitasker. Okay, she could do a lot of different things. So did she come up into South Texas first? Did she ever work in the around the uh, uh, fruit vet, fruits and vegetables? No, she was a teacher. She was a um, teacher in Mexico until she moved here. Okay, what is, where, where did she? Uh, first come, did she go to South Texas first? Um, yeah, I was. Because what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing luscious land around her. Okay. Okay. And so she may have been a teacher of, of, um, of children in South Texas before she came here. Okay. okay. Because there were a lot of migrant workers around her. Mm -hmm. Okay. The smart lady, smart lady. So she kind of muscled her way up. Uh, and uh, and made a life for herself that way. At least that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, because she was married, but it was just more of a single mother. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because she just she was a, a Jane of all trades. Yeah. So she could yeah, do a lot of sure. things. So. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. So let me go to you behind. You. Uh, what is your name? Verenia. Uh, what? Verenia. Verenia. Okay. Do you have a mother or grandmother in spirit? Several mothers. <laughs> you what? Grandmothers. Grandmothers. The mother's still here. Yes. Okay. Um, she says, "Were you a tomboy growing up?" Bookworm. Bookworm. Okay. Yeah, I was a typical girl. Typical girl. Okay. Not a typical girl. Because she's talking about how strong you are, and, and uh, were you ever? Did you did you have brothers? I had two. Two brothers. Did you ever have to wrestle or? or mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah. that would be my sister. Yeah, your, your sister was the. She was more the. She was more the strong. The strong. Okay, so you were the. You were the. The uh, bookworm. Yes. Okay. All right. Because grandmother is talking about you girls, and she might be talking more about your sister than, than you. But because uh, there was certainly one of the girls was the tomboy, or or didn't mind getting into it with her brothers. Okay, because that's uh, they had to break them up. 
Okay. So were you the watcher? Were you the one that just kind of the observer saying, yes. don't do that or whatever? Uh, were you the one with dolls? Did you do, was there a doll collection? Uh, so, yeah. Okay, because it just seems like, did you did you have a, the doll? Were you very meticulous with dolls or anything? The ones in the residence were. The okay, because cause she's talking about these dolls. So if your grandmother made dolls, then those are certainly heirlooms and prized possessions. So, so uh, do you have any of those left? Maybe one or two. Maybe one or two, okay. <laughs> I've given them to my nieces and stuff over the years. To where? To my nieces and different families. Oh, okay. Oh, to your nieces. I was going to have kids. Okay. So. <laughs> well, because, you know, it's something that uh, it might be a, a talent you have that you haven't explored, okay? Uh, because she's talking about you having some skills that you really haven't delved into. Okay, so so do you sew or do you? Just, she did this. Okay, so <laughs> so that doesn't anymore. So she, uh, I mean, there's a create. Do what? I said I used to make a lot of things. So okay, there's a there's a creative side to you that is is untapped. Okay, so uh, you know I've seen this before even today uh, with people uh, that can do things on Etsy. I think I told you 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 have dolls around you too. So. Because uh, I did a reading for you, uh, but uh, but you have that same uh, you have that same energy, and so I'm glad you're acknowledging that. That's uh, that's wonderful. It's unusual to have dolls <laughs> more than once in the day, so it's uh, it's fascinating. But uh, but your grandmother just wants to tell me how proud she is of, of you, and then of your daughter as well. Now, are you an athlete? No, that's my brother. That's your brother. Okay, I'm always getting the siblings. Okay, your brother is the athlete. Okay, so uh, so I just want you to know, your grandmother is watching. Okay, and uh, she's still very much a part of your life. So thank you. So let's see how we're doing on time. We have a few more minutes left. So uh, let me go to you for a moment. What is your name? Veronica. 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 Uh, do you have a brother? I don't. You don't. Okay. Uh, it just seems to me that uh, uh, you have. A male friend, some male friends, then, or or uh, lots of male friends. Yes. Okay. Well, it just seems to me that uh, you're regarded as a wise person. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? Did you ever want to go to law school or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I took the LSAT. But you didn't, yeah. but you didn't go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, because you certainly have the mind for that if you wanted to. Uh, I, if you didn't go, it may be because you don't like to argue. You know, right. you know, okay, yeah. You just, you, 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 this is the way it is, and, and that's it. You just kind of like things that are more certain. And law is not certain, it's all up in interpretation. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, but you like the certainty of things, okay. Yes. And, uh, and so, uh, so it just seems that you like to uh, uh, tread on certain ground, okay. And, uh, and uh, now, one thing, that, who is the, the, you have the coin collectors around you, anyone like coin collectors, or yes. who's the coin collector, your dad? Uh, my grandfather. Your grandfather, is he in spirit? No. Oh, okay, so, he's the coin collector, and he, he takes it very seriously, so he's, he's got the, the, the magnifying glass and everything, so that's something that, uh, I don't think anyone else in the family is really interested in it. And um, so it's something that, that if you at least acknowledge that, it would mean a lot to it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, so I'm just hearing that. So, so thank you. So, let me go to this gentleman right here. Am I boring you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have an uncle in spirit? Uh, yeah. Okay, because uh, any sailors? Uh, no, but... Uh... Captain of a, a plane. Yeah, an air, so that's the ship then. Okay, it's an aircraft. It's an airship. Okay. So uh, was this World War II or? Okay. Uh, what is your name? I'm sorry. Neil. Neil. Okay. Uh, Neil, did you ever want to be a writer? Sure. Uh, because it just seems that you have a you have a, a great you have a skill that I don't know if you do write or what type of work. <coughs> Yeah, I just published a book. Yes, okay, well, <laughs> well, that would make you a writer. <laughs> you can choose your life, okay? <laughs> you know, 
I think you do presentations there too. <laughs> you know. The first time. First time, okay. Well, your uncle is very proud of you for what, you, what you've done, okay? And uh, now, have you ever wanted to, uh, uh, are there any, is there anyone around you that was a, a ventriloquist? Or, or did you, do you ever want to do uh, 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 voices, different voices? Have you ever done any different voices? Because it seems to me that that, once again, is another latent talent. And mm -hmm. that, uh, it's a playful thing, uh, but um, it's something that uh, uh, I, either, either you can do that or you, you, uh, your ear is drawn to certain characters, okay? Mm -hmm. So, were you ever a big Bugs Bunny fan or anything? No, I didn't watch it. But, but, but no, your cartoons were never real big in your family or anything like that? Then this may be your, your, your uncle telling you that that may have been something that he, was, that he was partial to. Okay. Is your dad still here? No. He's also in spirit? Okay. Did he smoke? He smoked a lot. He, 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 there's a man around you smoking. Who would that be? You don't remember your dad smoking? Okay. <laughs> well, you certainly have uh, your uncle, who is the uh, the pilot, and then you have the you have the smoking man, which I think is your dad, but it, he may have smoked early in his in his life and, and quit. Okay. Was he also a veteran? Yeah. Okay. Because then I, I do think that this this is your dad. Okay. Is mom also in spirit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because mother is, is here. Did she ever make clothes or, or sew? Until she sewed, I don't know if she ever made clothes. Okay, because it just seems like she would do a, a lot of mending. Okay, the number seven is around you as well, so I don't know what that is. So were there ever any uh, a large family around you? Yeah. Okay. 